Hello everyone, my name is Yufan. I think have some special insights about heroes builds and strategy. Today let's talk about the new hero, Xborg. Passive skill, Xborg's armor is 1.2 times HP and takes all damage first. When the armor was broken, Xborg can blink with the left joystick and won't take damage during this time. Then he continues to restore energy in armorless state and his attack range has been extended. Xborg's fire damage causes enemies to warm up and enemies with highest temperature will drop supplies when they take fire damage. Pick up supplies can improve the energy to restore armor. When energy is full, Xborg will re-equip the armor and restore the 50% armor and improving the armor HP when you have it. First skill, Xborg use flamethrower attack designated direction for 2 seconds. Enemies who has highest temperature will take true damage and slow down by 30%. Armorless state, Xborg adjusts the flamethrower to narrow angle and lengthen distance, reducing the damage to 60% of that in armor state. Second skill, Xborg shoots 6 fire stakes at the edge of the fan-shaped indicator. 1.2 seconds later, the stakes are taken back into his body and deals damage to enemies in the path and pulls them back. If the fire stake touches the supplies in its path, it will also take them back. Armorless state, Xborg adjusts 6 fire stakes to narrow angle and lengthen distance. The ult, Xborg charges forward in a designated direction, shooting fire around to deal damage and slowing enemies by 60%. If he hits an enemy hero during the charge, he will stop charging and slow the target by extra 30%. The whole process lasts 3 seconds, and your movement speed will decline too. Then he self explodes to cause 415% of true damage of target's max HP. If the armor was broken before the explosion, the armor will explode early, but only deal 50% damage after the explosion. Then he is armorless state, can't use the ult. First we can choose a pair of boots, between warrior boots and tough boots depends on enemies heroes. Then the core attacking builds are Bloodlust Axe and Hunter Strike. They can offer 20% CD, Spell Vamp and Speed Up, which are all important attributes for Xborg. Then we can buy two defensive builds, Immortality and Athena's Shield. Due to most of Xborg's damage is true damage, and the damage of the explosion is fixed, we don't need too much attacking builds. We need defensive builds to prevent his armor from being easily broken. When you use Immortalitas skill to resurrect, you have the armor, then you can use the ult again. And Athena's shield can offer extra shield to protect your armor. The last one, you can choose between Blade of Despair and Queen's Wings. When Xborg in armorless state, he is fragile. Without the armor, the HP is about 45%, and the Queen's Wings are triggered when the HP below then 40%, so it's perfect. For emblem and talent, fighter is the best choice. Taking physical attack and HP, physical pen is not so important, because you have true damage. And festival blood, can improve your spell vamp. For spell, you can use flicker, or sprint. If target escapes your ult range, you can use flicker to catch him. First skill is your primary source of damage. You should level up this skill first. By AOE true damage, and regenerating armor by touch supplies, Xborg is very strong in early game. You can broke lane, and invade jungle. Second skill don't just put it directly, you need to predict his escape route, and then the fire stakes can bring your target to you. Xborg can dive in easily with the ult. Xborg can't be controlled during the ult, and when the armor was broken, you are invincible, and have a blink to get away. Claude has two blink, so he can avoid your ult easily, and his ult can broke your armor easily. Diggy's ult can protect his teammates, avoid your ult. Bale and Terrazilla have continuous control of large areas, which is good for Xborg. Okay then, this is our new friend Xborg. Hope to see you soon, in my Xborg rank video.